author who spent two decades working in mainland China, who has authored two books on China, including the great U.S.-China tech war. Uh, thanks for joining us today. So two pieces of legislation, um, as our correspondent just mentioned, targeting TikTok in the Senate. What is behind this um, activity on Capitol Hill? Um, obviously, there are security concerns, but is there, I guess, a lot of reason for that concern? Well, it certainly is. First of all, TikTok has been surreptitiously and illegally taking data from phones in the U.S. and shipping them back to Beijing, despite saying it was, wouldn't do that. But more important, Alex, you have the TikTok algorithm, which Beijing uses to propagate its narratives. So, for instance, in 2020, there are reports that it actually used TikTok to foment violence on American streets. Also, this year, we have seen Beijing use TikTok to take Russian disinformation and spread it through the U.S. TikTok glorifies drug use. There are other concerns as well. So it's really the algorithm, which is, I think, the more important of the two national security concerns. That's so fascinating. Talk a little bit more, though, about what China's goal is obviously because I've always said that the US China relationship one of the more fascinating international politics because we distrust each other we compete against each other but we also desperately need right. each other at the end of the day because of the economic strength of, of both nations so explain what you think in layman's terms uh, what China is doing with that kind of information other than is, is there a danger beyond the misinformation because we have a domestic misinformation problem as well yeah, China takes data and it uses it. First of all, it collects enormous amounts of data from anyone and they know where you are. Um, they can use it for blackmail or intimidation purposes, but they also feed it into their artificial information systems and, and that makes them better. Um, so really what you're doing is the use of data um, in ways that undermine the U.S. So ByteDance, um, we've heard a lot about that, obviously, the Chinese company that owns TikTok. Its data is stored outside of China. So why does this, doesn't that kind of tamper down the concerns of the senators? Because we have had uh, reporting, especially from BuzzFeed, which says that uh, despite those assurances, the data is shipped directly to Beijing. And apparently nobody or very few people in the U.S. have any say in that at all. You know, ByteDance is nominally a private company. But in China's Communist Party top-down system, no entity can refuse a demand from the Communist Party. And incredibly, the party has actually um, codified this in the 2017 National Intelligence Law, Article 7 and 14, which require every Chinese entity to spy if demanded. So basically, what we've got is the Communist Party on people's phones in the U.S. Wow. I mean, that, that's one way to put it. The Communist Party yeah. on, on your phone. All right, so walk me through, because I'm sure there's... I'm not a TikTok person myself, but I would imagine that if you're if you are and you're watching this interview, it, it would make you a little nervous. So in terms of what you're actually contributing yeah. to or, or what have you. But walk me through the practicalities of an outright ban. So far, it may get banned from government phones. Some states are taking actions, obviously, on a state level. But if the U.S. as a country says we're getting rid of this thing in our borders, does that mean it literally would be illegal for Apple to have it in its app store? You couldn't access it anymore. What does that mean on the ground? Yeah, it, it means you couldn't get it from the App Store and it would not be available in the United States. And you got to remember that American apps are not available in China. So, you know, even if you forget the national security concerns, um, this is an issue of reciprocity. You know, why do we have Chinese apps in the United States when Beijing bans our apps in China? Thank you for pointing that out. I, yeah. I was unaware of that. So I, I'm going to assume, like most, <laughs> the answer to most questions, it's money, right? Well, it's more than just money from Beijing's point of view. Um, they want uh, they, they they want to make sure that they can propagate their narratives. Got to remember. But I mean, that why the, the U.S. doesn't ban it? Why why the U.S. doesn't take a a tit for tat over TikTok right. <laughs> approach, saying, "Well, if we can't be there, you can't uh, be yeah. here." And do you support the ban? Yeah, I certainly support the ban. You know, President Trump, uh, in his last months, banned TikTok and WeChat, which is something similar. Um, and um, uh, the Biden administration reversed that ban. And right now, I think that there is growing appreciation of the risk that China poses. And so, therefore, a ban is becoming more politically feasible. But, you know, President Biden, using his powers under the International Emergency Economic Powers Act of 1977, can, with the stroke of a pen, ban TikTok. 
So are there any legal challenges then that could arise? Our correspondent said that, you know, this is one of those decisions that was made um, pretty outright last night. Um, but are there any legal hurdles that this could face? Well, everything always faces a legal hurdle in the United States. And, and when Trump True. banned TikTok, <laughs> um, there were challenges from TikTok um, and it was being litigated in the courts. I think that since that time, there's this more um, a better appreciation of the danger that China poses. And we've learned much more about TikTok violating all of its promises to store data in the U.S. and not ship them to China. So um, I think the legal challenges are not going to be as fearsome as they were in the beginning of the Biden administration. And last question before we let you go, based on what you just said, one, what was the rationale uh, of President Biden to undo what President Trump had done? And do you think the climate has shifted enough that, as you said, now Biden will, will use the stroke of a pen mm -hmm. to reverse himself and go back to the old policy under President Trump? Yeah, I don't know the motivation for what President Biden did, because I think it was unjustifiable because it was TikTok posed clear national security risks. Um, you know, right now, um, with the change in climate, um, I think that we do have a much better chance of doing this. Um, it's going to take some time, um, but we are starting to see China across the board um, interact in ways which people obviously understand are a threat to the United States and more broadly to the international community. And if you're an average TikTok user, anything you should do in your settings to protect yourself or the country? Can you? Yeah. Can you? No. I, the, the, you know, if you got it on your phone, um, uh, Beijing is going to get your data and you can assume that uh, all your location data and everything else settings on your phone are going to be known in China. So is it just as simple as just deleting the app and then the data stops there? Yeah, I mean, it's it, it's if you have TikTok on your phone, um, you got to just assume that Beijing has it all. And um, that's the reason why this app uh, shouldn't be in the United States. It just, um, you know, they, they violated too many pledges. They've done too many things which are illegal. And you got to remember that when Trump tried to force the sale of TikTok to American parties, the sale cratered not over price. It cratered over control of the algorithm, which shows you that Beijing really wants to use this to influence the United States. So this is not a question of money. This is a question of politics and national security. And to the average user who says, I don't care if Beijing sees me <laughs> on my dancing video or, or you know, right. whatever. What would you say to that person? Um, the United States has interests that go beyond the interest of any one particular individual. And unfortunately, you know, you, you do have these issues that China is maliciously trying to accomplish its goals in the U.S., and that overrides the ability to see cat videos. <laughs> Especially cat. Dog, maybe. No, no I'm yeah, kidding. No. Totally joking. All right, Jordan. <laughs> Thank you so much. Really fascinating information yeah. there. Yeah, really interesting. Thank you, sir. Thanks, Alex and Rob. Yep.